Hey guys, hey. Welcome to the neighborhood. This is Sophia with Sophia Brings Light. And uh, coming to you again. Um, my channel is basically almost like a book of shadows for me. Um, I don't really have all the numbers, but there are benefits sometimes to be in a small channel. Like sometimes I, um, I am a um, transitional life coach, so I work a lot with people and their families at the end of life. And I am a nurse and I am a conjurer and a root worker. So um, sometimes I have clients from all three of those areas. Um, I'm also an end of life doula. So when you put all that together, I get kind of busy sometimes. And um, though I try to keep a regular schedule, I don't always do so. I'm trying to do better. But when you have a small channel, I just feel like there's a little bit of grace there. Uh, and so it is. But getting back to subject at hand. So on this channel, I talk about things I'm going through, things I question in my practice, um, my practice of being a witch. I love tarot, so you'll see that. I love halls. I love manifesting and doing work to that. I just love it all, and I'm an eclectic practitioner, and you'll get a little taste of that. I also like to travel. Um, haven't been traveling as much as I uh, would like, but when I do, I'm going to invite you on that too and have that there too. So that's a little bit about my channel. And then there are certain little things in the way I do things. I like to talk about that too. And that is what we're going to do today. So today I'm just talking about this right here. And I don't know if you, I'm going to pull it up so that you can see. This is one of my salt bowls. And I like to make the bowls of salt. Um, I usually get rid of them about every three weeks or up to a month. But I go ahead and put my crystals and stuff like that in there. Um, and I put, it depends, different herbs, whatever I'm feeling like. In this one, I have lavender. Usually I'll have some type of protective thing like uh, rosemary. Of course, the salt, because the salt is cleansing. And most of the crystals can take the salt or a salt bath. It, to me, that's what this is. It's like a salt bath. And I like to use roses. I use roses a lot in my practice. One, I like them, of course, for love. But I think that roses are a very high vibrational plant. And that is what I get from them with my intuition with roses. So I like to uh, put them in things sometimes to raise the vibration. Um, and so you see one of my pendulums is in here and um, I use little and this is an amethyst I don't know if you can see it yeah this is an amethyst I use these little crystals sometimes because I use those in spells with my candle work in jars or whatever I'm using um, in my mojo bags <laughs> um, historically um, our ancestors didn't use crystals and things like that in mojo bags but I'm a modern practitioner and these things are ahead at hand for me and available to me so I use some things that are at hand they're around me and that are available but maybe my ancestors may not have used I do use traditional things that they do they did use but some of the things that they use are not available to me so there is that um and then I am in an urban area. So, you know, I I use what I have around, be they the herbs that I have that I get from different places, botanicas, grocery stores, and that. So I use what I have at hand. And that to me is the basis of being a root worker or a conjurer. Now, they, not that I know of, usually did salt baths. So like I said, I have a modern practice and I do that. And some of that is part of being an eclectic practitioner. But anyway, in my salt baths, so in this one, I have uh, rosemary and I have uh, some lavender because naturally lavender is a great disinfectant. So I have that in there. Um, I even have some crystal, uh, some black salt crystals in there. And so that is, and I think I have some basil in there. So this is all that I have in my little salt. I call it my salt bath or my salt bowl that I keep on my working altar 
for my crystals and that kind of thing. And it just works. Um, I also have one that kind of, I feel absorbs any negative energy in the room. So I'll use it for that. Um, I know sometimes a lot of people use a white candle, but sometimes I like to, and you can see it's been working because it's dark at the top, um, but that's sometimes the um, residue of the candle too. But um, I sometimes like to have, and I don't do this all the time, but maybe quarterly or something, even sooner if I feel like the need, I like to have a black candle on my working altar and the reason being I'm trying, I'm absorbing any negative energy that may have been deposited or something during my working. So I use all of those things um, during my practice. So I really um, like the salt baths that I keep for crystals and jewelry and all of that. Sometimes I put my jewelry in there, bracelets and all that kind of thing to cleanse the night before maybe I'm going to wear them or whatever. So just some little hints of some of the things that I do. And I have to admit, now that is one I got off of YouTube because I've been doing it for some time now, probably been doing it for two or three years, but I got it off a video about two or three years ago, and I'm not sure <laughs> if I could even tell you who it was, but I thought it was a good idea. So that is one of the reasons why I love... Um, I get ideas from people. I, you know, uh, shift some things or maneuver some things, or I say, no, that's not for me, but I, I think that's a great thing, you know? So, you know, it's about us. This community is about us learning and sharing, and this, my channel is about learning and sharing. So if I have something that I think, hey, this is a great thing, I like to share that, and it might be something simple. That is the other thing. Being and doing all that I do, I need a simple practice. And so my practice is, for some, would look pretty simple. Now, I can get pretty, you know, sometimes I get pretty, can get, rituals can get pretty, um, I'll call it dramatic or use other things when, when I have time. But my day-to-day -day practice and the things that I do, even week to week, are very simplistic and I love it because they're powerful and I manifest. So that's the thing to always ask yourself, are you manifesting? And if not, why? Because really you need to look at whatever your work is. If you're not manifesting, review. There may be something you need to let go of, even though it's something that maybe you read out of a book or something. What is spirit saying to you that may work for you? That's the most important thing is what is spirit? What is your intuition saying that you need to do? What is calling? Are herbs calling you to be used? Do you hear that little nudging? Because my ancestors, they give me stuff and it is wonderful. But do you hear that little thing in your voice, in your mind's eye, or you see something, um, or you, you think that you should use this? It's really calling to you. Use that. That may be the key that you need to bring that manifestation. Well, that is it for today. You be blessed. You be powerful. You be you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.